Alright. I cheated. Cheating is done. This one was a bit tricky. Um, that should do it. go would have been easy if I was lighting every single thing but I'm not uh, so back this way that looks really friendly So close. This one's definitely gonna put my torch out, I think. Oh well. Her father tried to help her, but she wouldn't listen. He was doing his best. to save her from the darkness. Zinbel was right. Zinbel was trying to save her from the darkness. Our bang kids never listening. And now everybody is dead because of her. Zinbel's her her <laughs> 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 got his own darkness to deal with, she I've heard. Why doesn't she learn? Why she learn? Now the darkness has Dillian's soul. Let's see. And it will take uh, it and never give it back. She can see. Rian the dwarf's sole desire ah. is to possess this dragon's accursed treasure. And he uses Sigurd to reclaim it. He tells Sigurd the story of Fafnir's gold, and the good hearted hero promises to slay the dragon if Rian would forge a strong sword for him. Sigurd remembers that his father once possessed a sword given to him by Odin. Odin broke the sword to bring about Sigmund's death, but Sigurd's mother still has the pieces. And so Rian reforges the famous sword. Sigurd uses the sword first to avenge his father, and then he and Rian go in search of Fafnir. The darkness will take her like it took her mother. Deeper and deeper. The beast. <laughs> the beast knows exactly where she is. Okay. Well, at least I know that I'm kind of playing into their game. At least I think the I do. Is so large and Maybe deadly, there's more than one be game being played. To face to face. But each day, Fafnir crawls across the heath to find water. So Sigurd digs a pit in the dragon's path and lies in wait in it. When Fafnir slithers overhead, Sigurd sinks his sword into the dragon up to the hilt. Sigurd leaps from the pit and Fafnir sees his killer. He warns Sigurd that the treasure will lead to his death, as it led to the death of all who owned it. Sigurd replies that death comes to all men, and every man will want to be wealthy until that day. And he takes the treasure. Where is she now? The darkness killed you, Where is she now? Where is she? The lights run out. She'll die. What's a heath? I've never heard that before. Okay. Uh, light this for sure. Uh, 
and she'll die. <laughs> Yeah, probably. You're, you're not wrong. Will I die? Um. I mean, I don't see anything that would relight my torch on the other side. Um, but. Oh. on the other side to do that. Oh. It's it's got a little cross thing. was completely my fault. That was unnecessary, even. Oh, that arm looks terrible. That's a Dumbledore arm. Look at that. Oh, I can't look at it. It's hard to, I can't get a good angle, but it's, it's not good looking at all by any stretch of the imagination. Um, okay. So that's lit. That's lit. I already looked at that. Um, okay. Do I believe in second chances? Let's just sprint forward. Nope, nope, back down. Hard back down. Ah, oh, that didn't work. Oh, that sucked. That really sucked. Okay. Like that. That has a cage on that end. And straightforward leads to some rocks, it looks like. Um so oh. I have to look at this again, I guess. Let's, let's backtrack a bit, uh, and see what I can do. I'm gonna assume that it's nothing. Sealed off. 
So, unless I'm going to go through that waterfall, the answer has to be in that room. And I'm going to assume that that waterfall is not there to be useless. Uh, so, is there a way to get the fire to the other side without going through the waterfall? Oh no! There's also no light. Like, no patches of light. 